Okay. All right. So everybody can hear me, maybe, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Okay. <laughs> All right. So um, if you guys just subscribe to the uh, the Twitch TV channel, I really appreciate that. But. Yeah, you know, I really wanted to do it on YouTube, and that's, that's kind of why I'm doing this in the first place. I just wanted to test out how useful YouTube was, and uh, evidently the, the live thing is uh, I either don't know how to work it or it's not too amazing as it is. So please, uh, so what we're going to do, what we're going to do here is just do a quick uh, feedback, ask me anything, uh, I guess questions and answers or whatever you want to call it. And yeah, so ready, set, go fire away. I'm going to actually be keeping a log of just some of the important things that you guys are asking. Uh, I actually haven't used Razor Comms yet, the Rylanator. Uh, but I actually, I really, really want to try it. Where am I from? Holy crap. Uh, from is a very interesting question. I, I moved around a lot. I was a military family. And uh, so, well, from, okay, the, the longest place that I, or time that I spent in one place is Alaska. And that was 13-ish years up in Alaska. And uh, mostly during the school year. So, no, not Syria. Uh, oh, Syria, thoughts on Syria. I, um, that's a very, very interesting situation. I don't know enough information to talk about it. So I'm just going to avoid that question. How old am I? I am currently 26. Sometimes I forget. What's your opinion on the World Domination series? Uh, <laughs> it's... All right. Okay. So World Domination Domination series for those who do not know is if you are or it's, it's a YouTube or it's a Machinima event, right? Machinima is the big uh, YouTube channel uh, that it's a multi-network channel and it hosts whatever. Anyway, long story short is they're going to be doing an event that is like you you gather points or it's, it's probably still going or going on right now i don't know i haven't really whatever uh and you get points for capturing territory and holding territory and then there's special events over the week whatever whatever uh it's, <laughs> population is such a huge issue right now on a lot of different servers and across the board so i can't really can't really say i i don't think that they should be doing these sorts of events yet and I, I like it was <laughs> it was an issue also at the the tournament the at SOE live is there was population issues and it was was affecting the outcome and even though you're supposed to be playing for fun playing for fun is a lot more fun when you win ten thousand dollars so if you're on the winning faction then yeah uh, what do I do for a living I'm a student uh, what do you think of the ending of Mass Effect 3 I thought it was given uh, too much hatred I didn't like the ending, just like everybody else didn't, but uh, but I don't know. I, I think that they just ran out of time and money. <laughs> you know. Uh, okay. Hey, you guys are like firing off, firing off. Uh, have girls dated you just for your jawline? I don't believe so, but I am frequently told that that uh, that I have I have a nice jawline. So thanks, thanks for reinforcing that. <laughs> What do I study? I'm a student of business. I'm getting two two degrees, just associates. Uh, one's in business marketing, the other is in uh, small business and entrepreneurial studies. And uh, yeah, and I'm, I don't even care about the degrees. I'm just doing it for the classes because I, I find that entertaining. Uh, do I even lift? I used to. Oh, I used to. Do not anymore. This, <laughs> the only thing I'm lifting nowadays is uh, a small child. Uh, will I buy Battlefield 4? No. Well, I might. Probably not. Battlefield Battlefront 3. I actually never played the first two, and actually I was not never really, really big on the Star Wars games. Uh, so probably not, unless it's amazing. Opinions on planet sides, direction, shift over the op optimization. Very, very important. Uh, I think they will be successful, at least to some degree. Uh, if... If they can, I, I think they're they're really shifting focus to it so that they can broaden their audience because a lot of people are obviously this, this is a, a constant issue. People are having trouble, 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 and blah blah blah. Uh, as they add more patches, people are just getting more issues. Is what it sounds like. Um, but uh, yeah, what kind of mic am I using? I'm using a blue Snowball. 
it's, it's sitting away from me uh, at the moment, so hopefully you guys can hear me loud and clear. Uh, sure, early PC gaming. That's. I'll take that answer. Any genres you like playing besides FPS? Well, I grew up on FPS, but I also grew up on Command & Conquer Red Alert 2. Um, and uh, so I, I do, I'm really, 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 really terrible at strategy games, but they're fun. So uh, Heroes of New Earth, I guess MOBA, I hate the genre name, uh, is fine. I don't play Daisy. It's a little slow for, for me. Uh, it's a little slow for YouTube. Um, in that respect, I don't know. I just don't have that much time. Yes, it's Windows 98 or 98. Yes, it's Windows 8. It works fine. I like it. Consider doing voice acting. I. Uh... <laughs> That's funny. Uh, no, no, I have not actually. And I don't. I don't. It's funny because I don't actually talk like this in real life most of the time. I don't expend a lot of effort. I usually don't talk at all to a lot of people. So th on YouTube, I'm actually much more outgoing. Uh, fingers crossed, or fingers, whatever. Uh, I, I'm outgoing, I guess, on YouTube. I heard, I heard you early. <laughs> I don't take that kind of stuff to heart. Things just kind of bounce off me, so don't worry about it. Uh, but yeah, um, ever heard of and or played War Thunder? No. Well, I mean, yes, I've heard of it. No, I have not played it. Not my cup of tea. Uh, Civilization Five. I it's way too slow. I'm sure it is fun because I do like those sorts of games, but uh, is it tiring being outgoing for you? Yes. I, I generally do not like people. I like to... Uh, uh, I like to understand and... I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. People, people are fun to toy with. <laughs> Don't spread that around. Um, if you were dev in Planetside 2 and you were given the job of bringing back the BFR into Planetside, how would you bring them back stats, weapons, and so on and so forth? I would not. Uh, well, no, it's not that I wouldn't. I did not play the original Planetside, so I don't know. I uh, couldn't tell you. I really couldn't tell you. But just from the feedback that I'm getting, it, it was, it was sounds like the, the last hurrah, like they, they wanted to add something uh, really, really cool to the game. And then it backfired on them because it was overpowered or whatever. And that just might be uh, people's perceptions of it. It might be completely balanced. I don't know. So very over, overpowered. That and that's what I keep hearing over and over and over. So I wouldn't. I wouldn't really know to be honest. But I think that there is a sickening obsession with balance. And I'm going to put out a video about it later. But um, with balance and planet side too. I think the devs are taking it way way overboard and they're trying to balance things out far too much. Uh, but that's a topic for another time. How much time does YouTube take from you? Pretty much my life. Uh, yeah, pretty much my life. Use your max as a BFR. That's how I think maxes should be, actually. You should be scared of a max instead of just like, well, me and my buddy here are just going to keep firing at you. Can't really do that against scat maxes, but... Uh, Rel, I would like to lick your butt crack sideways. Thank you. Um, why are you so beautiful? Uh, I'm not. Uh, do you think the devs will see? You? Do you think that the devs see your videos? They do on occasion. They I don't think they put any weight into what I'm saying, but they do. Um, they do view them because they're constantly looking at uh, Planetside Two content for the entire community, and uh, it gives them something to post on their Twitter, their Facebook, etc., etc. What's up, Shyless? Are you planning to do other content other than Planet Side 2? I am going to kick the crap out of Titanfall. I will let you know right now. I'm not a Titanfall channel, obviously, but <laughs> because the game's not out yet. But uh, yeah, Titan. I am extremely, extremely excited about Titanfall. And I think I'll actually have to be com compete against Drifter uh, as well. And because uh, Drifter is going to be doing Titanfall, from what I hear. Uh, he put out a video and he mentioned it like in addition to Call of Duty. I'm hoping that Call of Duty keeps his keeps him occupied. Let's see if I can turn up the volume a little bit. No, I cannot. I can turn this down though. Can everybody still hear me? Hopefully. Uh, yeah. Sorry, Turbina. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. But 
Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Rel, I killed you in Planicide, uh, like, a few months ago. You and many, many other people. Most of the time I kill myself. But, uh, it's very exciting when people do it for me. Uh, do you think the PS2 will become a more console-like PS4 game to grow? Uh, can you elaborate on that a little bit? I'll, I do want to answer that question, but uh, I don't really understand it, the phrasing that you're using. Oh, and the question below it, how successful do you think PS2 will be on PS4? Very, very, very successful, uh, if I had to guess. Uh, question, are you going to challenge your viewers more often, uh, give them objectives, video response? Um, video responses are going away. So that's, that's a major, major hindrance. Uh, like YouTube is taking down the feature, I do not know why, because it's it's amazing, but I guess people were not using it correctly. Uh, so maybe, um, maybe, is all I can say. Headset you're using, I'm using the Razer uh, Kacharias? Is that how you pronounce it? I don't know. Rel, the New Age Samurai, Samurai. I'm spelling Samurai wrong. <laughs> uh, Rel, are you ever gonna do server reviews? Just review the communities or server population? No, um, because that I w would not have enough time to play on a server to be able to assess that appropriately. I can't even say what does or does not happen on Waterson, even though that's my primary server. Um, uh, I notice you don't play Planetside 2 in a squad a lot. Um, it's, it's both a benefit and a hindrance. Uh, it hinders me because I feel like I have to um, not carry people's weight, but I feel like I'm obligated to stay next to people. And uh, it slows me down because I'm I'm uh, I'm okay at running and like just running and gunning. And when I feel like an obligation to people, then I I uh, yeah yes. But squads are very very good, obviously, for the tactical element, and um, you can take on more pubs as a squad than you can pubs versus pubs. So uh, loadouts are common sense. Yes, they are. But the loadouts, the point of the loadout videos that I and providing is just an interesting and fun way to play and that's uh, a lot of people misconstrue that because they're like oh this is the best way to no it's not the best way to do anything as a matter of fact it's probably the worst way to do something that's what i'm going for but it's fun uh well not the worst there's obviously logic to, to the things that i put together but uh hey rel would you like to come to sweden and hang out yes yes i would unfortunately i cannot um do you have a girlfriend no i have a wife <laughs> i have a wife uh, Rel, would you make a max guide? Um, gathering footage for it, don't know, um, don't know, uh, yes. There is way too many, I can't read this fast. I actually am a really, really terrible reader. So, so yeah, not like you have to buy the hats though. I'm re reading like random things right now. I'm not even answering questions, I'm just, are you cultivating any friends in the PS2 slash YouTube community? Uh, yes and no. Kool Aid or the Kool Aid line talks to me a lot. STL Youngblood talks to me a good deal as well. When I say a lot, I'm like, not not like a lot. Uh, and they're really really cool. Uh, a lot of people actually um, message me, and I, I do like uh, giving advice and like just just touching on things. Actually, I wanted to do a, a community section of highlighting other YouTubers. So. Uh, just having like a literal interview with them you know what's your favorite thing to do what kind of things do you provide why do you do what you do etc etc and um, i haven't followed up on that but it's definitely something that i want to do because i love um i love building on the planet side too community i think that's very important and you know there is like a, a word document say hey, chilling right here uh, chillin at, what is it g after chilling and uh yeah and i can't <laughs> can't use it because i'm talking too quick so uh, what does your wife think about your YouTube success and or your YouTube job right now? That's a good question. Uh, YouTube is very, it's, it's building. It's a very, very slow process. So right now she basically wears the pants. Um, so she's she's the major money maker and I'm, I'm a student, but I also get paid for going to school. But uh, yeah, my wife is jealous of me playing Planet Set 2. Any advice? Get a divorce. Uh, no, that's not true. Um, that's, that's a hard, Hard thing to answer. I'm gonna skip that. Um, opinion. Oh my God! You guys have so many questions. Not even questions. Will you play Titanfall on PC? Yes. How old are you, Rel? 26. Tell us about your wife. No. Will you, you continue to make Planet Side Two videos, even when the game gets overpopulated? What PS2 video? Why would the game get overpopulated? Um, I'm confused. 
All the VS outfits are terrible compared to 666s. Help Jack kill TRG. Do you use a second hard drive for recording in PS2? Yes. Yes, I am. Uh, yes, I do. And even that gets filled up. And I, I record life to death. And then I, I call all the footage that I'm not I'm not going to use or not don't need to. So if nothing sticks out, nothing's like interesting uh, or entertaining, I don't keep it. Um, Real mouse sensitivity. I, I couldn't even tell you. I couldn't tell you. Sorry. Uh, it's too high for me right now. I need to slow down a little bit, but I just, I'm lazy. Look how Raw was so concerned there. What? Uh, do you feel that, actually, hold on, I'm gonna. Do you feel if SOE went with the TF2 cosmetic guns from etc. etc. Uh, double and triple sale. Oops. Um, I would love to see cosmetics for guns. Absolutely. Actually, more cosmetics for. Uh, oh, yeah. Cosmetics for guns. I think that'd be nice. But I also think that that there's a problem with identifying which weapons people are using right now. Um, you can tell when it's a shotgun. You can tell when it's a you know LMG, obviously, because whatever. You can tell it's an SMG. Uh, but I think that you should be able to tell the individual weapons by very very distinct characteristics. Uh, and that's difficult. But uh, hi Shane Shock. Hello. <laughs> Not Shane Shock. Uh, thanks for hanging out. Um, 26 married. Yep. Uh, how do I set the chat to slow mode? Somebody help me. How do I do it? Slow mode. Oh, snap. Nice. You may send messages. Ah, that is cool. Two minutes, though. All right, guys. I just set the chat to slow mode, so every two minutes you can send something. Wow. I'll, I'll disable that if you know if I like catch up. But give me like stuff that I really can answer for you. Um, story behind your wife, 26 married. I'm, I'm not going to tell that. It's just it's too long for this little thing. Um, when is the SMG comparison coming out? I don't know. I have like 10 lines written up about it, and uh, yeah, uh, 10 lines, and that's going to be like a 26 minute video if I had to guess. So it's gonna be it's gonna be a while. I don't know. I, I just have not had a whole lot of time lately, and uh, yeah, I do have all the footage for it. It's just the script writing and the, the calculations and things like that that I need to to work on. Will you be playing with your subs in other games as a form of tactical play? I like to do that every Wednesday. I I usually stream every Wednesday. I may not stream again this Wednesday, unfortunately, but that's just the way of things. What is your dream job? Uh, not YouTube. It's actually having a uh, it's designing a game. Uh, without having to, to, to program myself. Um, so just being like the, I don't know, the guy that tells people to do things. Uh, if, if payment model was cheaper than TF2 slash Dota and not Cosmetics 4 guns, um, oh, if the payment model was cheaper. I, I think the payment model is actually in a pretty decent place right now, just given the amount of content available, which there's there's not actually a lot in the grand scheme of things. And especially since they're going to be calling the prices as time goes by, uh, it's a very smart thing. It's obviously not the the best when you come to think about, or when uh, when you're in the mood to spend money because it is expensive. But uh, from a business standpoint, if you're if you do spend money, you're prone to spend money in the future. So the way that they're doing it is they're pretty much they're baiting you into spend spending money. You're just going to keep spending it uh, until you get bored of the game and quit. <laughs> so, how old are you? I'm 26. Okay, I'm actually going to write that because. It's, Third time in it. How old are you? Question mark. Answer. 26. Bam. No. Just like that. Okay. Any new loadout videos forthcoming in the near future? If so, what class? Uh, I, I'm i going to actually redo. Uh, I'm redoing the Leviathan Salt video because uh, I'm just, just doing it. Again, because I like the class and I, I chose a different weapon. Um, and I, I do, as soon as, actually, when they put the Drifter changes out on live, I'm going to gonna be playing with Drifters a lot. And then uh, I'm going to show you guys my, my Drifter loadout, which I've used for forever. And uh, what else? Uh, yeah. Um, and then some Engineer ones and maybe a Medic one. Uh, Star Citizen, yes, it's actually not my cup of tea, um, not my kind of game, but it looks so good. The website looks so good. They have put so much work into it already that I'm gonna, I'm, uh, I supported the game. I 
spent $60 or whatever uh, on Star Citizen, knowing full well that I'm probably not going to play it, to be honest. So yes, I would like to play it. I won't have enough time. I know that. But I wanted to support the project because they are, they are just, yeah, uh, everything just looks amazing. So, uh, really, you should post an FAQ section on your website. I have been meaning to get around to that. Um, it, it will happen because there is a lot of repeat questions for sure. Uh, will you like to see more VS vehicles in the future? Uh, or you would like to see or I would like to see? Because the answer is yes to both. Um, hey, Rel, may I ask you how much you have invested in Planet Side 2? Uh, for or not for YouTube, really. It's uh, more than $500. Yep, it's a very, very expensive game, <laughs> to be honest, than a year. Uh, Nanite Mesh Generator versus Adrenaline Shield. Look at the review. I, I did put out a review about it, but Adrenaline Shield, my personal favorite, hands down, because I like to kill things and I'm pretty decent at it. So, uh, Would you like Naval Warfare? Absolutely. Do you ever download things illegally? Do you ever crack things? Maybe. <laughs> Don't we all? Uh, what? I mean, no. Uh, what are your thoughts about the new walkie talk? I don't know anything about that. Have you stated, or you stated earlier in the video that Mirror's Edge had an impact on you? Um, what was it? I, whenever I play Mirror's Edge, or I play video video games, uh, uh, I don't know, like that they're inspiring. Like Mirror's Edge in particular makes me want to run. I want to parkour. I'm actually, I'm decently athletic. All I like to do, all flippy doos and everything else around the, around the couch. So it's like people. People say that I have breakdancing Tourette's because for no reason, when I see an open space, I get like, like I just want to dance, um, which I don't. I usually just do something. Oh, actually I did it at SOE Live. They were like, like the um, dance floor. As soon as the fire dancer gets out, uh, <laughs> he left, and then they opened up the floors for everybody. Then I go in there, I do a little set, and then I walk off, and then I went back to my hotel room, and I, I slept. <laughs> so that was my pool party at SOE Live. Um, what do you think of harassers? I think they're extremely extremely powerful right now um question is your background a woman with facial hair yes it's faith from mirror's edge yes she does have faith facial hair uh facial hair i guess mostly it's she has icons in front of her face have you ever read born to run no i have not um what keyboard do you use switches on mechanical uh, i use the razor um widow ultimate self thing Approximate as um, every blocked YouTube video stream. Uh, what is your favorite book? Uh, the Bartimaeus Trilogy. All of them. Um, how much have you made from YouTube so far? I cannot disclose that information due to uh, legal, etc., etc. Uh, where do you want to go with YouTube? What are your future plans? My plan is to have uh, to be YouTube as a job by the end of the year. So uh, just making what I would be making um, by the end of the year. So hopefully, fingers crossed, that's like bare minimum because it's a very, very humble uh, wage that I'm kind of aiming for is uh, 1200 bucks uh, per month. That's, that's my, my goal by the end of the year is 1200 bucks per month. Very, very, very difficult, especially given the, uh, the scheme of things and that we're already more than halfway through the year. So um, hey, Roland, good to see you in person. Dude, love your videos. I amount of detail I go into explanations uh i really really appreciate that thank you very much uh silver nightwing have you ever played borderlands 2 do you plan to uh, i played the first one it was okay that's that's about it i'll say that uh that's uh not true black mage um how much you make from youtube i i can't can't tell you it's not a whole lot if you want you can go to socialblade.com and then you can uh, do a search for Warpath Rel, and then it'll give you very, very, very rough estimates of the lows and highs. Um, are you already a YouTube partner? Um, I'm partnered with uh, the Gamers Network, which is TGN.TV. So, and before that, I was just a YouTube partner, and they are different, and I, I'll talk about that later. I'm doing a series on YouTube um, commentating and how to be successful and that sort of thing. Uh, so that's definitely going to be a part of it. Would you play a Planetside 3 if Sony made one? And if so, what system would you want to play, uh, play it on? Maybe I'd play it. Uh, they have a 10 year development cycle, so I don't know where I'm gonna be in 10 years. Uh, so we'll see. Uh, <coughs> I'm dying. <coughs> Hi, Luperza. Thank you for joining me. Uh, yeah, that's funny. YouTube, YouTube wasn't treating me so nicely. 
Uh, do you plan on uh, what, Mr. B Tongue? I actually don't know who that is, but I would like. I'm. I'll actually. If that's a real thing, I'm gonna look that up later. So, I'm, I'm keeping that as a note for me. Uh, Realm, you always have a place to stay if you're ever welcome in Australia. I deeply appreciate that. This must be fake. You're good looking and smart, which never works. Uh, yes, it's fake. This is actually a dream. You're in a dream. Um, yep. <laughs> Thoughts on Battle Islands from what we've seen so far? Couldn't even tell you. Um, I think they look good. Uh, I think I think they're going to be a very, very even uh, playing field, which is nice. I, I wish that, that some other things, like tournaments going like henceforth, I, I want to see them on Battle Islands and things like that. Or is it Nexus? Is that the same thing? I might be confused. Uh, what are your qualifications for this position, and where do you see yourself in 10 years? Hi, Parapros. Uh, qualifications. Who? I don't know. There's, there's a whole lot. Uh lot that I could talk about is far too much um, where do I see myself in 10 years uh, house a couple of kids uh, yeah <laughs> not doing YouTube I'll actually hopefully have progressed past that um, or maybe still doing YouTube who knows I can be old we can all be old uh, what what's a game you're looking forward to in the near future Titanfall 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 uh, what is your FPS history? I grew up on Tribes, the original. I you did, uh, I did skins, some modeling, uh, scripting, and I was like 12 years old. <laughs> so I grew up on spin fusers and jetpacks. Uh, but Counter Strike also. Um, I actually didn't play a lot of Quake or Doom. Uh, played a lot of Unreal though. Garden Missy, what's up? Uh, even though I haven't played Planet Two forever, I still watch your videos. That is awesome. I love hearing that, uh, and thanks for stopping by, per usual. What server do you play on? Are you friends with Kool-Aid? Um, Waterson and friends, uh, more like acquaintances, and we talk to each other. Uh, hi, sorry, can't type much. Slow mode, yells at me, sorry. <laughs> oh, that's it. Perfect. You wasted it. You wasted it, Lepurza. That's your two minutes. You could have, you like, did, I don't know, something, like, mind-blowing, and you wasted it on early PC gaming. <laughs> no, we're friends. Okay. No, since you shot me, Kool-Aid, actually, we're not friends. We're not friends. What's your opinion of the Striker nerf PTS compared to Zoe uh, and Phoenix nerf? Um, uh, Striker nerf. I actually don't know about it, so I, I actually need to probably look it up. I know that they are... <laughs> Real truth, truth or dare. I don't think that's going to happen. I'd always pick truth. Um... Yeah, uh, looking forward to seeing the striker get nerfed. I don't know what they did to it, but we'll see what happens. And not that I think the stri striker is a powerful weapon. I think it's just it's literally broken from a game perspective, um, just with the clipping and things like that. Yeah, if they're, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I didn't hear anything about it. Um, <laughs> sorry, early PC gaming. I'm just playing with you. Getting you back for that comment earlier. Thank you, Ralph, for being a wonderful human being. Thank you for. For also being a wonderful human being. Uh, all the people he came here to watch you. Yeah, there's 152 people on right now. That is outstanding. I never even get that much when I'm actually playing Planet Set 2. Why is that? Why? Why is that? <laughs> do do shout outs on your channel. I need more subs. That's not the right way to go about finding subs. Um, yeah, but no, I don't. Um, and if I, I don't know, it's. I will, I will help you get subscribers, but I will do it in a way that makes sense for you to be, uh, like, to help you become successful. Not like shoutouts and, and things like that. That never goes anywhere. I mean, it's it's useful, obviously, but it's the wrong way to go about things. What are your thoughts on Claymores? I think Claymores are awesome. Didn't they get a, um, actually don't know, Did, didn't they get a buff to the range at which they actually do damage? Because that's what they needed. And uh, if that's the case, then they're fine. I think they're too visible. The, the green streams are too visible. But uh, aside from that, I think they're, they're in a good place. If the buff that I, I imagined and like told you about is real. What gun have you gotten with the most, the most kills with? I don't know. I have no idea. I don't check those things uh, very often. Maybe, maybe the VX6 Tac 7 for the Vanu Sovereign. Not gonna be any of that. 
I'll let you know, but you can ask me things and I will tell you the truth because I don't lie. <laughs> it's a very, very boring game with me. Um, or I just won't answer the question. Do you know if a game is actually going to be uh, use CPU better? They are working on optimization right now. Yes, yes, yes. Um, John Smedley said that they are in they are like full optimization mode, so we are likely to see some changes in the near future. Hopefully, um, Rel is a giant liar. That's not true. Robot face, just fine, just fine. Or Japanese, Japanese. I'm not sure. Rel is the most kills of the XS. Oh, thank you. Thank you for looking that up. Uh, Claimers got buffed. That's, that's what I heard. I wasn't sure though. Uh, witch spelled like the witch in Left 4 Dead uh, faction PS2 do, do you most affiliate with do you mean like relate to because uh, of honor sovereign because I always wear purple I don't always wear purple uh, <laughs> but I do on live streams uh, which faction do you hate the most in Planetside 2 Terran Republic come on Rel no Araxiums no I don't I play too much of everything to get an Araxium on anything uh, so that's unfortunate but what was your worst job i never had a worst job well uh probably your first job you know uh, i worked at safeway up in alaska and i don't know bagging groceries is just and one time here i'll tell you a story so one time bagging groceries but you also do uh you don't stock shelves but you also clean the bathrooms every once in a while you get into carts and uh so one time i go into the bathroom and there is there is crap everywhere, everywhere. Like if you've ever seen the movie Dumb and Dumber, <laughs> with uh, it's it was terrible. Like there was it was just smeared. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Blows my mind. But yeah, so I had to clean that up. That was a bad day. <laughs> that was a really really bad day. What was your favorite subject in school? Physical education. Uh, but but the chain gun sucks. Was was just about to quote Bob Saget. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's what it was like. Who is your daddy and what does he do? Um, Rel versus Kool-Aid. What's the score? I've seen Kool-Aid once. He's uh, I've seen Kool-Aid twice. He's killed me once. That's the score. Safeway in Alaska. Absolutely. Um, Rel, what is your game? Well, in-game BS name. It's Rel uh, on Waterson server. Who is your daddy? So my dad, uh, my father, he actually has owned a lot of businesses growing up. He was in the military or he was in the Navy. Um, he builds custom motorcycles and, uh, he's extremely, extremely talented, kind of a douchebag. Um, <laughs> but just growing up, he, he worked, 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 worked a lot. So we spent a lot of time in uh, boys and girls club and, uh, with the grandparents and things like that. But, uh, yeah. Do you own a car? Yes. Uh, I'm losing my voice already. I should have got some water. Milk was a bad choice. Uh, what are your PC specs? They are online. Uh, it's Tempa uh, at relplays.com slash PC dash specs or just relplays.com. Just go, to, go there. Um, have a good night, Dago Moose. My poor Terran heart. Right, but to be fair, you picked Terran, so I kind of deserve it. Just kidding. I play all four. All three. <laughs> I play all four factions. Um, Rel, that's an Arnold Schwarzenegger line. What is? Get to the chopper? How often do you TP, TK people who are slow? I don't. Uh, I mean, not, not often, like not consistently. Sometimes I do it, sometimes I don't. We'll see. Thanks for trying to put that in, uh, Arcs4, but yeah, the thing auto-deletes. What ships do you have in Star Citizen? I think I have the Origin 9-something, 900. Uh, it's just the $60, $60 package, so whatever they gave me. And I, I did check it out in the hangar, and it's banging. Uh, yeah, I can't wait to play with it. How many hours do you play on average? Not enough. Not enough. I have too much life, not enough time. Uh, when is the next double XP weekend? I don't know. I have no idea. I think they're actually, they're structuring. Um, they were kind of profuse at the begin beginning, but I think they're gonna, they we're going to see more 40% uh, whatever uh, sales instead of like straight devil station cash i uh, just get ready for that but next big one you could probably say is going to be uh thanksgiving you know and then maybe a triple for uh maybe a triple for december christmas or whichever 
December type religion you believe in. Have you done some martial arts training before? Because you kind of seem like you have an attitude of a lot of, uh, a lot of my masters have. That is extremely, uh, extremely humbling, and I, I deeply appreciate that. Yes, I do do martial arts. Um, uh, yes. Do you play Hitman? No. How did you find the name Rel? I did not find the name Rel, but I, I like the letters uh, W and R just because of the, some of the, the ways that they the ways that they sound, I guess. I don't know. And some other leather, leathers, letters as well. Like I've used the name uh, Kojiro in the past, which is, uh, anyway. Um, I've used the name Laps. I've used the name Rive. Uh, I don't know. Oh Lord, the ads are killing me. I'm sorry. I don't have any control over that. Uh, November, maybe double XP. Uh, that's that's a good point. That definitely could be it. Uh, biggest problem of Planet Side 2. What? What's the biggest problem of Planet Side 2 in your opinion? Stealth attack. Oh, those two questions. Uh, biggest problem of Planet Side 2. Balance. Uh, uh, balance. Population balance. Hands down. Uh, because right now, it's a numbers game. And that's unfortunate. It really, really is. Uh, and not because the numbers game is unfortunate, but because people aren't, uh, even with the lattice system in place, people aren't uh, currently, they're not spread out enough and they're not compact enough all in the same. I spend a lot of time just, I mean, you can be ghost capping still. And people are complaining about that not existing. No, it definitely exists. Um, it's just a little bit uh, diff different to do now. What's your favorite TR heavy primary weapon? Uh, that's a good question. T9 card. No, that's not true. Um, probably the Rhino. Favorite color, guessing red. No, favorite color is... Pff, I don't have a favorite color. Actually, it used to be blue. I'm thinking more green. Chain gun. I have problems with the chain gun. I used, to, I used to love the chain gun, but then they jacked it up uh, after the patch. And if, you, if you're looking at it from the outside in, it seems like it's, it's better, but it's, it's really not. Um, and I had some thoughts on that, but I'm still playing with it because I go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth um, about the chain gun because it's a complicated weapon. Uh, but there's, there's a lot of design conflicts uh, or concepts that like conflict each other. Does YouTube pay the bills? If not, what does? Uh, YouTube does not pay the bills. My wife does. Well, okay. I, I also pay the bills from uh, going to school because I get paid for that. So uh, what do you plan on making your main source of income? YouTube, by the end of the year, is what I'm shooting for. Whether that happens or not, we'll just have to see. Do you hide PS2 co codes in your videos? No, I want to, though. Uh, but right now, I'm very, very broke. So uh, thanks, SOE Live. <laughs> Do you think the other two factions should also receive chain gun type weapons? No, I. Uh, no, not chain gun type weapons. I think that there should be heavy LMGs. Uh, actually, I'm gonna do a video about that later. Um, yeah, life or wife? What? Uh, what are you studying? Business marketing and small business and entrepreneurial studies. Best rifle for Vanu Heavy Assault can be NS2. Rifle, uh, I am partial to the CME, and I know many are not. Oh, and rifle, do you mean assault rifle? Or, yeah, because I am partial to the CME. It's a lot of fun to use. Uh, what do you think about the spray and pray game style? I think it's far too prevalent in Planet Side 2. Uh, because if you look at the average accuracy of people, it's 20% is, is your average accuracy. So really, um, weapons where you can spray and pray are um, very powerful for that that game or that that type. I don't know. There's not enough emphasis on on controlling your recoil and having realistic recoil. It's I don't know. It's, it's difficult to talk about. And if I was able to formulate my thoughts better, if I had more time, then I'd be able to give you something more substantial. But uh, oh, SV88, yeah, SV88, absolutely amazing. Uh, I'm just experimenting with that lately. Is the Leviathan build still up to date? Would I make any changes to it? The change that I'm running right now is I'm actually using the Polaris, which is the 100 round um, heavy assault weapon that does pretty much crap damage. But it's, uh, and I, I do want to make an updated guide or loadout video just to show you that. Um, thanks for stopping by, Extractor. 
and I'm kind of like trailing off now. Um, more questions, more questions. Take it easy, it's Tempa. I can't tell what your personality is like by watching your videos, so I feel like I just met you by watching the stream. Um, you'd be surprised, I don't actually act like this in real life. Not that I'm, I think I'm really acting like anything right now. Uh, Drifter or standard? Drifter, except not this patch, not this game update or last game update, maybe, because it's really, really jacked up right now. Uh, jacked up in so many ways. It's just, it's completely clumsy, it's not graceful to use anymore, and it's complete turnoff. And as somebody who's been using Drifter hands down constantly since the game came out, um, I, uh, that's, I don't know, it's unfortunate. What are your thoughts on upcoming possible changes to Galaxy's mobile spawn points? I want to see all of the Galaxy changes. <laughs> all of them. I think they're going to be important. Uh, Galaxies are right now only getting used by uh, only getting used by organized outfits or if, if you're taking the Galaxy solo just to get someplace. But aside from that, um, I think that adding some more utility slots will, will make them more prevalent uh, for public players and things like that. Uh, do you own 3DS? No, I do not. Uh, opinion of NS15M, it's extremely accurate. Pulls to the left a little bit, but once you get a forward grip, it's, it's a lot more, uh, it's a lot easier to reel in. It's a very uh, powerful weapon for medium to slightly beyond medium range, and uh, obviously not damage-wise, but it's, it's a good weapon. It's a good all-rounder. All the NS weapons are. Uh, Hope Spheres the Hassan. My, my fear actually is that it's going to be too dark. Haven't spent a lot of time there, but when it's dark, um, a lot of reflections, I like I won't be able to play on Hassan because I won't be able to see anything that's on my screen. Even with curtains up, um, as you can see in the background, light still gets through and I can't really do anything about that right now. So like I had to wait until it's nighttime <laughs> in order to play. So there's not a glare constantly coming in. Um, do you have Planet Set 2 EU retail already? No, I do not but I would really, really love the golden SMGs that you get out of it. I have to go now. Take it easy, early PC gaming. Thanks for stopping by. Will you start your own outfit? Is there one already active? That's a good question. Um, I have my own outfit, but it's just me in it. It's nobody else, uh, and that's not going to change for now. Would we get informative videos on Star Citizen? Uh, no, probably not, to be honest, because it's just not... I, I'm really, really excited about the game, but it's not my type of game. I might, you know, that might change. I, I might get like completely invested in it, but I don't see that uh, coming in the near future. Do you pirate any of your video software? I think a lot of, well, that just rolled into a different question. Uh, I don't know. Um, do I pirate any of my video software? Yes, used to. Um, uh, and some of it, not all of it. Hassan is going to be a godsend for Vanu. No, that's not true. Uh, Vanu, like you can't see them, yes, but at the same time you can't see TR, you can't see NC. It's people make too big of a fuss about the the the, uh, the camo thing. I. Uh, uh, what is it like answering questions from people that watch your videos? That is a good question. I think that is. Awesome. It's awesome that um, I have 166-ish people asking me things right now. That's that's absolutely amazing. I, I'm deeply uh, in debt to the community as a whole. So that's very, very cool. Thank you for all, or thank you for all the questions. Thank you for stopping by and things like that. Um, I can go on and on and on, actually. I'm surprised it's already 7 o'clock. Holy crap. <laughs> I only wanted to do this for 30 minutes originally, but um, SMG or full auto scout rifle for the BS. Um, good question. I, I was really really probably or like into SMGs I still am but I also do like the auto scout rifle for certain occasions like when I'm feeling fancy because it does actually have a little bit of niche now that they they gave that slight buff <coughs> I'm dying I'm okay I'm dying no I'm not uh, Love your work. Keep it up. Thank you. Thank you for stopping by. Cake or pie? Cake. Unless it's chocolate pie. Um, 166 is a lot if you imagine them all in the... Yeah. Yeah. And if if, uh, if everybody, if 166 
people were in my room right now, I think it'd be very, very hot in here and I'd probably go outside. <laughs> Uh, if you've ever tried doing some modeling animation programming, I've done all of the above. Uh, yeah. Uh, what do you think about review, <laughs> removing the reverse maneuver? I'm not qualified to really talk about that, but uh, I I am very interested. You know, one question that I wanted to get out to uh, to the upper level pirates. Pirates. Upper, <laughs> just say that. Upper level pilots uh, is how long would they want to stay in the game? Or would they be willing to stay in the game? Like, will they just roll with the changes? Or are they going to be like, no, reverse maneuver, I quit Planetside 2 forever? Or something. Um, I, I'm actually very interested in how they feel about just letting the reverse maneuver ride for a couple of months, you know, four months, whatever, and see, like, the actual changes, like, what, what it actually, actually does. Because you can theory craft all day long, but until you actually get it in game, maybe it's going to be easier. Maybe just handling. Uh, ESF is going to be easier for newer players, and they'll actually have a chance. That's kind of what Higby's banking on, but, I mean, actually in a little different respect. But, uh, yeah, and not that I really, really want to talk about Reverse Maneuver too much, but, but yeah. So, I would like to see what happens, because um, they can always change it back. So, QQ. Pirates. Um, infiltrate update. I hope they do enough for the Infiltrator class. I don't think that it has a... It has a role, obviously. Um, it's a powerful class, obviously. I mean, if you've watched Kool-Aid's videos, or uh, uh, the guy that just strictly does kill streaks, something cookie, frightful cookie. Yeah, his videos. I mean, you can do things with it, but I think that Planet Side Two as a whole has. Uh, I, I think there needs to be more. Uh, more class like specificity, um, more roles. Do you like to use the Warden opinions on battle rifles? I did like to use the uh, the Adalon, which is the same thing. Uh, and I haven't been feeling it lately. Favorite comedian? Uh, Russell Peters. Mm, maybe. I don't really, I don't know. I can't answer that question. There's a lot of them, a lot of them. Did you try the grip on links when you're comparing it to the Jaguar? Yes, I absolutely did. Yes, it helped the, or I think it helped the links more than it helped the Jaguar, which was interesting, that defied, um, my perceptions of, of what was going to happen. I really found a bug today. Don't know how long it's been, but the Dalton shoots through a biolab dome thing. That's been off and on, it seems, forever. Like, if you just set the the lib on a biolab, you can shoot through. Um, I didn't know it was still a thing, but yeah, that kind of sucks. Uh, are you planning to keep doing weapon reviews? Yes. Um, more weapon comparisons now. Uh, certain weapons, I think, uh, can warrant reviews. But comparisons, I think uh, it's like two birds with one stone. Uh, it answers a lot of people's questions more. Because um, when you look at people like who ask for reviews, they, they usually don't just ask for specific reviews. They usually ask, what's the best of this? Or, you know, this is my play style. Can you help me pick one? Um, so the comparisons are, are kind of what I'm gearing towards right now. Oh, man. I do need water. I'm going to go get water. All right. All right. All right. Be right back. You suck, Parapros. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, four leads. She should say keep it up. What? I think I'm missing things. Oh, take it easy, Silver Nightwing. Thanks for uh, thanks for stopping by. Uh, I can't, I can't think. My brain. All right. So, um, if you guys have questions kind of the um i don't know the last thing it is seven o'clock i do have some some obligations so if uh i want to get some questions about the impact of the game and kind of try to slow things down if, if you can uh ask me ask me about game things 
that's what I want to talk about. I, I like to discuss Planet Side too. And as much as I like answering questions about myself, <laughs> I don't think it's important. I don't think it's important at all. I mean, if you're interested, yes, that, that's cool. But I, talking about myself is a very difficult thing to do. Beamer or Manticore? Uh, I used to be partial to Manticore. I've actually been playing with the Beamer a lot more now. Survival mode for PS2. What does that mean? It's like, <laughs> it's always like a survival mode for me. Uh, are you happy with your job on YouTube though? Uh, although you prefer designing games. Um, yes, no, I absolutely love YouTube. This is the most fun thing that I've done. It allows me to express my opinions. It allows me to help the community. It allows me to have a connection with people. It allows 158 people to sit in the same room. Um, well, same room uh, as me and just, you know, talk. That's really, really cool. So yeah, I absolutely love it. Why do you think the Beamer is so awesome? Because I can click it very, very quickly and I don't have to worry about oversampling it. Uh, which is your favorite faction specific tank? Prowler, hands down Prowler. Uh, do you think creating a clan helps the overall community of the game? Yes, I absolutely do. Um, a lot of people will just, they'll play Planet Side 2 just to, uh, just to be with their friends. So that in itself helps the community. What are the benefits of birth, burst over semi-auto, uh, over full auto? Uh, I'm not, I don't know, I kind of want to answer that, but frankly, there isn't any. I'm, I'm dying, man. Okay. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> All right. Shake it up. Shake it up. All right. <laughs> this is why, yeah, I can only have, like, a long, like, uh, <laughs> I can only be exposed to the elements. The elements of like people talking to me for so long. <laughs> uh, what am I thinking of? If you could create a fourth faction, what would it be like? What would their motto be? It would be uh, non-humans or it'd be like very, very uh, like barbaric sort of people who use like rudimentary weapons which were somehow powerful, uh, very, very, like, uh, I don't know, yeah, something like that, but different, different art style. I think the reason that I play Vonium in the first place is because the art style is so different from NC and TR. I think they kind of, they cross too much, but that's, it's, I don't know, you can't do a whole lot with uh, humanoid races. Faction of only Chuck Norris clones I'd work to. Um, well, if I were to invest 250, uh, I, I can't answer that question accurately right right now um you can send me a message though if you want to know and we can discuss it just give me your play style as well and, and what kind of classes you play things like that um if i already have the xm98 is it worth getting parallax probably not xm98 is pretty amazing to be completely honest parallax is if you if you want to be a, uh, i don't know like a hardcore sniper i guess you can eke out the, the extra damage it'll help you get kills uh um with people who have nano weave Oh, unless the XM98 does the same amount of damage. I'm not sure. I can't remember. Not a sniper. Probably guessed. Uh, oh my god, questions. Faction of Indiana Joneses. Why am I reading the superfluous information? Um, con mash. We'll, we'll have to see how the mission system works out. Um, I'm really, really interested in see how they, they implement it. How do you like the new sounds for Vanu guns? I, I think some of them are terrible. Like the, um, actually, I don't like the SV88. I don't like the the Pulsar, uh, or not Pulsar. Yeah, Pulsar LSW. Don't like it. I think it sounds like a tin, like a tin can. It's like ping, 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 ping. It's like clicking it. Um, what do you think of type of bow weapon? Um, they're working on crossbows. Um, but bows, you know, same thing. I, I don't think it's necessary. I don't even think cross uh, crossbows are necessary. Why are you so dapper looking? Because I like wearing, I like dressing up sometimes. It would be really, really funny if I was still wearing my, my pajama bottoms <laughs> like I was earlier. Uh, rel, 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 what do you think of the new flak armor? I haven't tested it yet. I think it'll stop all the QQ from people getting one-shotted by rocket launchers. So that'd be nice. Uh, where do you see Planet Side 2 going in the future with the dev team becoming smaller? I don't, I really wish that I had more information about that, but it makes sense that they're not releasing it. It's, uh... 
don't know. It makes... I don't know. Layoffs are always always hard. I, you don't know how things are going to be affected until, until you see, like, how people are going to start crumbling under the, the new responsibilities, if that even happens, you know. Uh, but, yeah, I know I only answered part of that, but, sorry, that's all I got time for. Uh, green alien NPC race. Don't need that. Most useless thing to buy with certs. Uh, triage. Is there a way to get not get below 60 frames per second in huge fights? Yes, you buy a better computer. You probably have to buy, like, a god computer at this point. How does your girlfriend look? I don't have a girlfriend. I have a wife. Uh, should there be upgrades to the knives? No, I think there should be uh, new knife weapons. Uh, Wakazashi is actually in the game right now. <clears throat> I'm not in the game on live, but it's uh, it's in the patch notes. What's your solution to the pa problem with fourth fourth faction? I don't think that there is a problem with fourth fourth faction. I think that there is a problem with the incentives being given to people uh, who are playing. Did he ever meet Buzzcut Psycho in game? No, I stalked him a couple times, contemplated killing him or killing him. But aside from that, whatever. It was just kind of novelty because he had like bodyguards. It was funny. It was just funny. I don't know. Um, what kind of utility items would you like to see brought to the game? Parachutes. I want parachutes so that I can use any class and I can jump, you know, in my scythe and I can just jump and like engineer and then I just like drop C4, drop C4, drop C4. Oh wait, that would take a utility slot. Okay, then I'll just plummet to my death. But either way, parachutes would be awesome. Just like activate it, instant slowdown. Uh, is your wife open to a free relationship? If so, how about me and you? Um, please send pics. Just kidding. No. Uh, do you think that there's, uh, I think there would be worthwhile ways to waste a vehicle in a strategic way? Hold on. Do you think that there can be worthwhile ways to waste a vehicle in a strategic way? What? Please rephrase that question. I, I almost want to answer it, but uh, yeah. Do you like the commissioner underboss more? Underboss, hands down, because it fires faster. And usually when you're using a pistol in the first place is those frantic situations where you click, 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 and that works well for me. Are you planning to do a review comparison of something like the Sauron or Empire specific tank weapons? Probably not in the near future because I'm just not a tank guy. Uh, what are your suggestions? I have a mid-grade gaming laptop or a comp that can't run PS2 for very long. Is there a way to keep it running longer? Uh, it just uh, there, there is a video to help try to increase your frame rate um, on the channel. You can definitely take a look at that. Uh, but aside from that, it's it's hard. Wait for optimization. That's all I can really say. Do you think the PS2 community will improve with the game mo uh, game moving to consoles? Uh, I don't know. I think that the communities will be largely um, largely separate. I don't know. If they implemented parachutes, would you try to get Araxium with, with it, kills with it? How would I do that? Like landing on people? Because <laughs> that'd be fun. I'd try that. What mouse do you use? I'm looking for one. I use the Razor Diamondback. It's amazing. Very, very simple. I don't like mouses with too many buttons. Opinion about PS2 for PS4. I think it's going to be a good thing overall. Uh, it'll get more people playing. A uh, bad thing that might happen is that PC players move to... Uh, PS4 instead of being on the PC, so that's that would impact the community. I hope that's not the case, but hopefully with um with the optimization changes, that uh, they'll rein that in and people won't have a reason to. But I don't know. Uh, what do you think? A mini game and short term round based goals like instance bomb defuse. I think that'd be very very smart. Um, I'd love to see something like that in the game. Especially if it was um part of the squad missions, like you set up us the bomb, and then then somebody else has to respond to it. I think that'd be very, very cool. Uh, I love your vids, but can you please play other games of Planet Sid 2? I would like to see more variety. I, uh, I'm i looking forward to playing Titanfall, and that's that's going to be a big one for me. But aside from that, I usually just put random games in my Thoughts for Better Gaming columns. So, But aside from that, I, I don't want to like disrupt the channel by just like, okay, guys, now we're playing Heroes of New Earth because you care about this stuff. Because you don't. I mean, you probably don't. <laughs> uh do you think Planetside 2 needs some sort of end game? How do you think they should implement it? Planetside 2. Uh, thanks, Kool Aid. I don't know. I was going to say something else and then I forgot. Uh, <laughs> what were you talking about? Do you think that Planetside 2 needs some sort of end game? Uh, I would like to see more progression with the uh, the battle rank system. Like, because right now it's just um, it's kind of there. It's annoying. It's. I mean, it is, is it just time spent 
but uh, so end game, yes, I would like to see something like that. I don't know how they would implement it. I mean, I, I have some thoughts, but I can't like can't talk about that right now. Um, what do you think? Use a striker as a dogfight interrupter. I think that's being a jerk. You should let people dogfight if they want. <laughs> It's too many lockdowns. Uh, do you think that reducing rate of fire buff with lockdown with some extra resistances would help it and still be balanced? Um, I actually wanted to put out a video about this. Lock on or lockdown is a great ability in itself, but extremely, extremely situational. That's a problem. And the, the reason why it's situational is because the counter to not having mobility or or accuracy is or okay. Not having mobility is accuracy, basically. So um, I talked about this a little bit in the Flash Guide too. Like if you're in, um, like there's a reason why you use a Fury even for anti-vehicle methods instead of a Basilisk. Because Basilisk, hopefully people aren't looking at you, obviously, but you have to sit there and then you use it, right? And then you plink, 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 plink. The thing is, well, it was, I think they actually got a buff. It wasn't accurate, the ba Basilisk was. So uh, that makes you a sitting duck, right? But the accurate or the counter to to having an inaccurate or to being a sitting duck is accuracy. So what they really need to do with lockdown is just make it so. Oh look, lockdown, um, fire, fire, fire. Accuracy slowly increases, uh, which would be. I mean, they don't need to do this. Obviously, Higby was talking about quicker ins and outs of uh, lockdown, which is fine too. But uh, give people more accuracy, like even instead of the rate of fire increase, I'd say, because then you increase the skill cap by allowing people uh, using. Uh, getting headshots, things like that. Thanks, Clash Kings. Uh, yeah, those are kind of half-hearted thoughts, but um, just things that I was thinking about. How broken is the Vulcan? Why is it overpowered? Uh, it's just powerful. I don't know. A lot of people have problems with it. Yeah, it deals a lot of damage, but uh, I think the attachments, I think you can upgrade the magazine size. I think that might be the biggest problem with it, um, but I could be wrong. I don't play enough TR. Um, is there times where wasting your vehicle can help in the battle give you strategic edge? Okay, uh, like somebody mentioned earlier, flash, C4, boom, that's good. Running people over in your lightning, also good. Thanks, Pinball. Uh, take it easy. When do you think optimizations will be done and when do you... Th uh, okay, so four months from now is my guess when optimizations will be done, but it's an, it's an ongoing process. Uh, what is the single greatest thing that you could throw Planet City to current balance out of whack? That's a good question. That'd be fun. Um, stronger factional differences. So, yeah. Thanks, Will. Take it easy. Uh, yeah, I don't know. That's kind of a difficult question just to answer off the bat. I guess orbital strikes. So I, I think that could be implemented very, very well, and it won't have a huge impact on the game. Which faction is the most annoying children? I'm guessing NC. No, you're wrong. All the factions are annoying. Uh, are you going to be playing Machine for Pigs? I'm not. Uh, I could not even play the first 30 seconds of Amnesia. I'm that much of a pansy. Are weapon attachments for weapons in a good spot? Um, I actually think that they need to have stronger upgrades and, or stronger benefits, stronger downsides to allow for more customization of your weapon uh, because right now weapons are I feel like they're really really lackluster they, they cross way too many boundaries for, for what they are because you can start with starting weapon and not need to buy anything else unless you're being unless you're specializing into a niche like a uh, uh, shotgun SMG yeah do you think that uh, VS has lost their identity no I think that there needs to be camo um I want the old camo back, the the old composite armor that didn't actually have camo on it. I want that. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. Oh, man, more water. We need better information about the stats in game. I completely agree. Uh, yeah, I completely agree. Uh, PS2 streams, the subs would be ballin'. Um, I've brought a couple people in the past. Uh, every Wednesday I do a stream. And uh, I've had Tox5 and Hobo Cake from ZRT. And had uh, Cardinalka 
Um, so yeah, you know, on occasion, bring in some some people and then we talk and stuff. And and for as far as subs, like generally, like usually when I'm doing those things, I just everybody can join. You know, if they're watching the stream, they can join the squad and we can just go kill things. So um, so you know that. But aside from that, I don't play with Twitch too much. Uh, do you think the VS should have the Pulsar LSW as a default instead of the Orion? No. Uh, the reason I say no is because I like that I think there needs to be more of those factional differences. Because you can always buy a weapon later on, especially when they're cheap for certs. But it's fun to exemplify your faction's characteristics. So uh, the, just the mobility from having a, the Orion is very, very cool. Um, when is team killing justified? When it will hamper the flow of the game for the greater, uh, in the, like the grander scope of things. So when somebody parks a Sunderer in a stupid spot, like up on top of a cliff, and that is forcing all the pub players to force on or spawn on top of the cliff, so therefore they're just gonna pick up sniper rifles instead of being productive. Um, I actually had a great clip of that. It's unfortunate that I deleted it, but I blew it up. And then we won because I blew it up because people were choosing better spawn points. And that's, I mean, it's like playing God, but you know what? That's, that's the difference between somebody who knows how to play the game and then pubs who just spawn the closest and then start shooting things. Um, I, it's not just TR scopes, chew toy. It's uh, some of the weapons are worse than others too. Like just depending on how you carry them. Like the NS, uh, the NS submachine gun. If you put a 4x scope on that, you cannot hit fire the thing while strafing, because it blocks your screen. It's really, really terrible. Uh, currently being inside squad later gives you perks. Being able to place checkpoints on the map, you place squad beacons. Further changes squad leader can do or buff. Um, I think the missions mission system is going to do a lot for that. Uh, I I don't think that that'd be a bad idea. I think that'd be fun. Um, uh, Tramel Isaac seems a bit mean from what I've seen on Command Center. How is he in person? I I don't know. I actually didn't didn't meet Tramel. Uh, when I don't know, I can't can't speak on it. I think I think him and, and Higby are kind. Of, well, actually, I think Higby is more personal. This is a, you know, just uh, speculation. More personable, like just because I saw him out more talking to people. Whereas Tramel, like I don't know, I I saw him like on occasion, and he was always with with his wife or. You know, during SOE Live, and uh, you know, just doing his own thing, enjoying himself, and you know, I, I so I can't speak to, to his personality, but thanks, Kool Aid, thanks for stopping by. Um, hey, uh, Kool Aid, I do want to talk about the oh, if you're still here, I want to talk about the uh, roundtable sort of thing. Um, yeah, I know I haven't been in team speak, but yeah, I'll get on that. Have you ever tried playing with the Enforcer C85 modified? Uh, I do it on the Harasser. It's terrible. I wish it was better, um, but but yeah, I use it because it's, because it's such a worthless weapon. It's fun. You already see yourself playing Planet Side 2 in a year or two from now. Uh, yes. Yes, I do. That's the plan currently, and especially because this game is constantly evolving, so there's something fun to explore, um, and that's why I play games. Is I like the exploration, and I like to figure things out, and I like to do content for the community. Um, yeah, that's kind of my shtick. For the record, Higby is a noob. He did team kill me once. It's a shame I didn't get it recorded. He killed uh, team killed me on test server. Uh, do you think the game needs more infantry weapons? I think the game needs specialized infantry weapons. Revamp everything to be more specialized than it is now. And there's a lot of strange, strange decisions that were made um, as far as weapon design. I don't know. It's I don't know. It's just kind of a uh, yeah. Things are very, very generic right now. Uh, what is the single greatest thing you could throw in Planet Side 2? You already asked this, Jack Hudo. Somebody said orbital strikes. I don't agree. I actually I can't answer that question uh, because I just don't know. Um, best scopes aside for the TAR, the 1x reflex. That's what it comes down to, for me at least. Uh, have you ever played? Uh, what would you like to see in the Light Assault update? I want. I want. Satchel charge, right? So satchel charge, um, tribes one, or I'm sorry, tribes two had it. Uh, maybe it was in shifter mod or something like that. You throw it down, you place it, boom, it explodes later, like after a timed duration or by remote. But the difference between satchel charge and C4 would be satchel charge. You could just like throw it in a room and then you know maybe just give it a time detonation. That would be more fun. That would give light assaults a role as uh, 
like more inf uh, more infantry cleaning, then I don't know. C4 is really really stupid to use. It's just clumsy. Uh, I mean, not that they should remove it, but they should de definitely iron things out with that too. Do you ever join pub squads? Yes, yes, I do on occasion. Do you think they can add different bases to the game, e.g., the one that can only be accessed only through air? Yeah, absolutely. I'd love to see stuff like that. Um, underground stuff, uh, stuff just like on the water with like bridges leading to it. I would love more variety like that. Uh, continent locking before 2014. I think that's a possibility, yeah. What other PS2 content producers would you recommend? Um, uh, the Kool-Aid line, he's actually been backing off of, of PS2 for a while now, just because of time constraints with life and whatever else. But so the Kool-Aid line is good. Uh, STL Youngblood is good. Jarathomus Gaming is good. Zor on the Bear is good. Uh, uh, there's so many good people out there. Uh, and they all cover different aspects of the game too. Uh, LMS TVX, he actually, I don't think he does Last Night 2 anymore, but there's a lot, a lot of people. Just look it up. Um, uh, maybe Level Cap still does Planet Side 2 from time to time. I don't know. I'm not subscribed to him anymore. Uh, so we should work on unique gun models, less clone weapons. Yeah, not really a big deal. Uh, it'd be nice, but if their priorities are elsewhere, that's completely understandable. Oh, it's Murda. Yes, thank you. Shyless. Uh, good channel, good channel. Maddie Ace is good as well, absolutely. Yeah, so like I said, see, these people are listing them all. There's, there's a lot of good channels. Um, do you have any ideas for new jetpacks for the LA, apart from drifters, etc.? Uh, yes. I, I did a Reddit thread a long time ago, which is some crazy off-the-wall ideas. And yes, uh, I do. So if you want to go on Reddit and then search for Rel, maybe you can find like an old, 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 old post. And then look at it. Look up. Look. Words are hard. Uh, field of view, adjustable. A vehicle field of view. Honestly, I think that they should take third-person view out of the game because it just kills the immersion. People are going to hate me for that, but it's fine. It's just my opinion. Daft Medic and Spadar, great pilots. Daft Medic has been pulling uh, back and away from PS2 as well. It's unfortunate. I, I liked his I liked his videos a lot. He, he did um, smart things, smart commentary. Uh, all right. Okay. Zoran's new video on galaxies was not actually Zoran's. Uh, I mean, he, as far as I understand it, or maybe somebody from his outfit did it, but it was uh, it was actually a long infographic that somebody did, and it was just them talking about uh, in a very, very hilarious way. So the video that Zoran put out was actually just a, um, a breakdown of that infographic in a video form. And it might have been somebody from his outfit uh, who did it, or it might have been him, I don't know. But... Uh, there's a lot of good points. Love to see it. Balthazar does, and I. Uh, he's also. I have to. I do have to warn you about Balthazar too, though, is that he does a lot of political commentary. So if that's not your cup of tea, then, <clears throat> then don't. I don't know. I mean, still check him out. Obviously, he has very very good weapon reviews. I, I love his 90 second stuff, uh, or is it 30 seconds? Uh, that's that's really really fun. Uh. Uh, okay, guys. All right, it is now 7.30. I am late <laughs> for things. Yeah, both those are always great. Um, uh, yeah, I'm, so I gotta go. I hate to just end the stream like this, but I'm, I'm dying. <laughs> I'm dying. But, uh, yeah. I will relax. Thanks very much, folks. Thanks for hanging out. This is, um, we'll do this, this sort of thing again, you know, occasionally. Sorry the YouTube thing didn't work out, <laughs> but... That's all right. All right. Take it easy, guys. Thanks very much. How do I turn it off? I will turn it off. Oh. No. Be gone. All right.